Light is at Scorpio. It's your girl, the Stoner Girl Tarot. This is your weekly reading. Thank you so much for pulling up on me and joining me in this virtual smoke session. Thank you for subscribing and hitting that notification bell. If you haven't already, roll up with me, light up with me. Drop down in the comments, let me know what you're smoking on. If you don't smoke, no worries, you are still more than welcome. This is a general reading, Scorpio. Everything is not gonna fit your situation. Take what applies and let the rest fly. Bottom of the deck, we got five of swords. So this is mind games, trickery, um, just a lot of like messy ass drama going on with you or could be going on with you or will be going on with you or with your person. All right, so I'm changing the format up a little bit for this week. So I'm going to do a overall collective reading and then I'm gonna do a mini reading for each zodiac sign. So, Scorpio, you are feeling really good about yourself. You could be very popular. You could be experiencing um, an increase in your wealth, your finances popularity, um, business, you know, money coming in, or you could just be getting a lot of attention. Um, star card in reverse. So you could be coming out of this place where maybe at one point you were not feeling as confident. Maybe at one point you weren't, you were not feeling this, this good about yourself and what you got going on. But with the star card in reverse, it's like you're beginning to get out of that energy. Um, something may have triggered um, this situation. So maybe with the star card, it's like, okay, you're coming to terms with something. You are accepting something from, for what it is. And you're gaining some of your confidence back, some of your vigor <laughs> back. Um, yeah, you're getting over a heartbreak with this three of swords in reverse. You had to take time to heal. You worked on yourself and you could have been doing a whole lot of work behind the scenes. And so now you're beginning to see the fruit of your labor. You know, maybe you just been chilling at home, not going out anywhere, saving your money, stacking your money, or maybe you've just been working on something and now you're getting recognized for it. You could also be getting, um, attention for something that you're doing. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So, this does talk about somebody being a, a evil ass woman or whatever, but it talks about someone in this case, someone could have cheated and manipulated you. Yes. But in this case for you, it's like it caused you to, you could have took that bitterness and, you know, tried to get revenge on this person, but you, it's like you took this bitterness and this hurt that you had and you used it to transform yourself. Um, yeah, Knight, King of Swords in reverse. This person really has you in your feelings. This person um, really took you down through there. I'm not trying to laugh to make fun of it, but it's like, I've been there before. So um, manipulative energy. Um, this person could, just has, could have made you just feel emotionally imbalanced, like you were not yourself, like you were just in a bunch of like, unnecessary drama and mess yeah you had an epiphany you woke up from this shit with the judgment card and it's right under the star card so it's like yeah you waking up you you you've you been asleep for a minute now you waking up you getting out of that low vibration shit ten of swords in reverse so you are definitely rethinking about the situation how it ended why it ended maybe even um you know, taking accountability for your part in the situation or in the ending. Maybe you're just finally seeing things for, you know, what it was. And you're ready to start something new, a new project, a new beginning. You know, you're, you're waking up. Basically, you're waking up. Yes, yeah, it's like, welcome back, Scorpio. You're waking up. Like, you you probably do still want to talk to this person or you could have some hope that this person reaches out to you. Yeah, five of wands, you are... There's still 
again, there's still some hope here, even though you've accepted the situation for what it is. You still have that little, a little bit of an opening, you know, if they want to come towards you and talk about it, you still have that, that little bit. I don't know if I want to call it hope, but because you have done the work and you've gone through your healing process, you're more open to talk to them now. Like you feel stronger, you feel strong enough to talk to them, have a rational conversation with this person. Your person feels that they want to come rushing in and talk to you with the Knight of Swords here. Um, they don't have any clarity about this situation with the Magician card in reverse. You could be dealing with a Virgo or a Gemini, but um, there could be some trickery or manipulation with this conversation. Ten of Wands clarifying that. Um, Ten of Wands talks about a burden. It talks about, you know, resisting. Um, maybe just the thought of you is just a burden in general and that's why they want to come rushing back and talking to you like I said over here you are open to talking to this person because you've healed you've had time to heal and think about this shit and so, therefore, if they do come to you with some um, bullshit, some manipulation, like, you, you're going to be able to see it. And maybe that's what's weighing on this person's heart. You know, it's burdening them. Like, if I come to Scorpio, like, I got to come correct. Like, they may need to be honest with you and tell you that they don't want a relationship right now. Um, or this is just them being open and telling you, you know, giving you clarity, giving you closure. Um, just like, you know, revealing shit with the Hierophant in reverse, you could be dealing with a Taurus. As far as their next action towards you, um, even though they could have moved away from you, again, I do feel like this energy, this person is coming back at least to have a conversation. Queen of Wands, yeah. They feel optimistic about coming towards you. They feel good about it. They feel that... Um, they think that you're sexy as hell, for one, Scorpio. <laughs> and uh, Spirit's message to you is the hangman in reverse. So understand that if they do come back someone could be interested in the other person a little bit more or someone wants something that someone isn't willing to give um make sure you're not holding on to this person just to hold on to them like you're not willing to um detach yourself from the situation and don't be deceived. Moon card in reverse as well. These are similar energies. Like, don't be deceived. You know, get your clarity. The truth is going to come out. But I feel like this person is going to just be honest with you and tell you what they want and what they have going on. And it's going to be up to you to make a decision about that, Scorpio. So uh, leave me a thumbs up if this has resonated so far. Now I'm going to do the um, individual signs. Again, I shuffle my cards off camera. I hope you are doing well, Scorpio. I hope you are safe. So, Scorpio, if you are dealing with an Aries, um, they want to come towards you and make an offer. They're probably going to take their time doing so. Um, it's a very methodical approach. They're making plans to do so, even though it may not feel that they are. Um, they feel that you're waiting on them to return or they're waiting on you to come towards them as well. Um, this person may have feel, may feel that they can't manifest you back or, um, they feel that communication is blocked some kind of way. Maybe you have them blocked. Maybe the two of you can't communicate well and that's an issue. Or maybe they feel that in order to get back, they're gonna have to like 
manipulate the situation. Like they could be, they could reach out to you one day and make, they'll make an excuse to reach out to you one day just so that they can talk to you. Hey, you know, did I leave my hat over there? Knowing gun well, they didn't leave their hat, but they just need an excuse to reach out to you. That's how this energy feels. Scorpio, if you're dealing with a Taurus, um, you're getting your justice in this situation due to um, whatever deceit that was going on with um, with you. They feel that they're going to get their justice. They feel that some they feel your Taurus feels like you wasn't being honest about something. You're hiding something. Especially if you are coming back towards them, if you're coming back to them, it's like you're not telling them something. Yeah, I'm glad you're back, but you ain't telling me everything. This could put you um, in the in your person in the energy of feeling like you can't be trusted or they're going to they feel like you, they have to act a certain way because they're afraid of getting hurt. You know what I'm saying? Like your Taurus is Taurus that you're dealing with. They could come off as like being cold, being a bitch because they feel like they need to protect themselves against you or from you. Scorpio, if you're dealing with a cancer, they're trying to avoid a tower moment with you. They may not be willing to let things go or let you go with the high priestess here, they could feel a very deep, intense connection with you. Maybe like, you know, a soulmate connection or whatever. Um, but they do wonder if they're wasting their time. They're not sure if they should continue to put an effort towards this with the seven of pentacles, but they have deep love and affection for you with the ace of cups. Scorpio, if you are dealing with a cancer, they feel like they need to take their emotions out of the situation and be a little logical. Maybe they feel like you're too logical, not emotional enough for them. But they do, um, this person feels like they wanna work with you. Um, for, for some of you, I feel like this isn't a romantic situation per se with this cancer. You could be trying to do some type of business with you. And if so, they feel that you are, you do make a good business partner. They feel like the timing is off. If this is, you know, resonating on a romantic situation, they feel that the timing is off or they really... Maybe the two of you, you're having a hard time trying to get together or communicate. Like the communication is very sporadic. And because of that, you know, some they feel like they're losing an opportunity with you. Scorpio, if you are dealing with a Leo, they're spying, trying to figure some shit out. Um, hangman in reverse, they... They're not willing to let this go, but they probably, you probably don't know that. You probably don't know that they still think about you, but they do. Um, this person feels like they have to be manipulative and not show their feelings towards you, or they feel that this is you, that you manipulate in the situation by not, you know, being emotionally available or, yeah. And therefore, nothing can come of the situation. Nothing can grow. Nothing can be nurtured. Um, you could be dealing with like a side chick or type situation and your Leo will find out. So be careful with that. But yeah, they don't feel like anything can grow from the situation. If you are dealing with a Virgo, um, they broke your heart or you broke their heart, but they're coming out of it. They've been in their thoughts and mind for a long time. Um, they still overanalyze and constantly think about this situation. They're always in their head about it with the Eight of Swords. Um, your Virgo is ready for a positive change in a new direction. And they're moving forward. They're leaving that relationship behind or those thoughts behind. They're moving on from the situation. 
Scorpio, if you are dealing with a Libra, this person is thinking about coming back with the Six of Swords or at least trying to um, fix the situation. Maybe they don't want to leave the situation as the way that they did, okay? Your Libra feels like um, they need to disconnect from you or that you've disconnected from them. And they feel that um, someone needs to come forward and confess something, or maybe you have, or maybe they have. And that's why um, they could feel the need to come back and or isolate themselves from you. Um, this person could have options, or they think that you got a whole lot of options. Um, your money is looking good, you could be a good catch, and they feel like If they're disconnected from you, it's because they feel like you got other people to keep you company. Yeah, and maybe that's what the deceit was about. You know, maybe you're just telling them, look, like, I'm, I got options. I'm out here seeing other people. And, yeah, like, I feel like there will be, somebody will want to see if this can work. But um, I feel like your Libra is going to tell you they're seeing other people or you're telling them that you're seeing other people, Scorpio. If you are dealing with another Scorpio, Scorpio, <laughs> your Scorpio feels um, burdened by the situation. It, they feel stressed out, um, mainly because they haven't heard from you or they may not know how you feel. They feel that you have moved on from them and that you have options. Scorpio, if you are dealing with a Sagittarius, this person feels like you may be, you know, being unreasonable, that you're unwilling to change your mind and see their point of view. Because of that, they could be losing hope in this situation. They feel that this is a toxic situation as well, or there are things about you that are toxic. And they feel five of wands in reverse as well. Like they want to end the conflict. They may not know how to, because it seems like um, they've made their decision. Maybe you feel that they're being unreasonable, um, but they've made a decision. They don't have, they don't see any hope in this due to toxic energy, the devil. Yeah, like they're not getting what they're putting into the situation. Scorpio, if you're dealing with a um, Capricorn, they want to make an offer with the Page of Pentacles. They've had a long time to think about it. Um, maybe they've retreated. Maybe they fell back from you and they did that just to think. They don't feel like you feel the same way with the sun card in reverse. They feel like you are either focused on someone new or focused on your work or your money and finances. Like you're not really focusing on them anymore. Scorpio, if you are dealing with an Aquarius, they feel that you have left them out in the cold. They feel the loss of your presence. Um, they definitely have a lot of passion for you. They, they definitely think that you are very beautiful or handsome. Because of that, like, I'm, I'm hearing, like, you being so beautiful or you being so fine is, like, giving them wounded warrior energy. Like, they have to compete with other people. Like maybe this person, maybe your Aquarius feels like you're not giving them attention. And it's like they out here, you know, why don't they talk to me or why don't they want to spend time with me or, you know. And they feel like um, not only do they need to cut you off, but it may be that you put them in their emotions and they just go off on you and just cut you off if you're dealing with an Aquarius. And Scorpio, if you are dealing with a Pisces, um, they feel like you may play mind games or um, it, the things came to a really nasty ending. Maybe you just had a fight 
Um, they, they may not be letting go of whatever happened or what was said in the fight, or they feel like you're not letting it go. They feel like you could be giving your love and affection to someone else, or they are trying to manifest you back and hoping that you will come towards them with a, a love offer, or they're hoping that they can come towards you with an offer of love. Okay, Scorpio. So... Let me know how you like this new um, format, this new reading. Um, let me know if it resonates. Thank you so much, and I'll see you later.